Hi guys, welcome back to the Tiki Bar. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vince, and this is Tiki Bar. Today, I got a special cocktail for you. We're gonna be making the first cocktail ever made in the 1900s. Yes, that's right. We're making a old fashioned. <laughs> There's no shaking in this cocktail at all. The original cocktail was originally a sugar cube with water muddled up and then stirred to make simple syrup. Because back then, there wasn't any refrigerators and it was hard to come by ice. So the bartenders had to do with what they did and the cocktail was born. It was originally, this cocktail was called cocktail, but later in the 1920s and 1930s, it was originally named the whiskey cocktail. Now, we're going to be starting off. Grab your mixed glass. For the first one, I'll be using a mixing glass to show you the difference. Get one scoop of ice. For this one, it's not shaken, it's stirred. So, starting off, grab your simple syrup. But first, get a good proof whiskey. I recommend a whiskey that's 80 proof and above because once you're stirring it, it'll dilute it a little bit. But once you put on a rocks glass, it'll keep it intact. So 80 proof is better. 40 to 50 proof will be lost in uh, the mixing. So two ounces of your bourbon. This one is dark barrel aged. 86 proof. Two ounces of bourbon. Grab your simple soda. Like I said in the beginning, back in the day, we had no refrigerators, that it was hard to keep cold. And simple syrup, it was hard to make syrups at the time, so we only had a sugar cube and water. We muddled it and stirred it for 30 seconds or longer to make sure the sugar diluted into simple syrup. So, simple syrup, one to one, one ounce, one to one. So, half ounce of simple syrup, two ounces of bourbon already in the glass. Come on. And for an old fashioned, you're gonna need two to three dashes of aromatic bitters. I am using unkosher bitters. Two to three dashes, of course. Grab your spoon. So an old fashioned. A lot of people say it's hard to stir a old fashioned because of the spoon, the spoon tip. But I say no. Do the back side. Instead of using the top, use the bottom. So it could stir with the ice. Stir up to 30 seconds or more. I usually count from 15 to 30 seconds in Mississippi. So like one Mississippi, two, and three. Let's stir it for 30 seconds. I can see right here, the ice is helping not to dilute a little bit. Tip it to, not to dilute a little bit. Not to dilute a little bit. Since it's in simplest form already, not sugar cube muddled with water. You're gonna need a hot dog. Grab your hot dog. And a rocks glass with ice cube in it. So if you have ice trays you can make in your freezer, simple, get your ice cube, put it inside, and pour it right in with the storm strainer. Look at that. I'm pouring in a double rocks glass. So that. Grab your orange, get an orange bill. Make sure you get a thick enough orange pill by grabbing from the back and pull forward. Mm. 
what you do right now around the rim the orange oil citrus will go around the rim twist it whatever comes out whatever aroma citrus and then put it right in I give you the old-fashioned There you have it guys, so I give you the classic bourbon old fashioned. Coming up next, the cherry bourbon old fashioned. Grab your mixing glass from the freezer. Make sure to add some ice. One scoop of ice will do nicely. So, make sure you get your 80 proof bourbon. Two ounces of 80 proof bourbon. So good. Two ounces of A-proof bourbon. And the difference between a classic old-fashioned and a cherry bourbon old-fashioned is the simple syrup is substitute, substituted out for cherry syrup. Cherry syrup, you might ask. Half an ounce of cherry syrup. You could get this in the jar of cherries. Basically, it's cherry syrup inside. Or if you don't have that, you can always use cherry liqueur like substitute for cherry herring. So, two ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of cherry syrup, and then we are going to be going for aromatic bitters. Like the classic old fashioned, two to three dashes of aromatic bitters. Two to three dashes. Grab your spoon, use the bottom, not the top, to make it easier to stir. Stir to 15 seconds to 30 seconds. The old fashioned, also known as the whiskey cocktail, was also made famous because it was the first cocktail ever made, usually known as cocktail at the time in the 19th century. Starting when the refrigerators were finally built and made in 1913, ice was available and they took out the sugar cube and muddling it with water to make simple syrup. So, during the 50s and 60s, the old fashioned was made during the madman era, as they say. Grab your rocks glass. Grab your rocks glass with the ice cube inside. Grab your Hawthorne strainer. Up close. Grab your strainer. During the Mad Mad, during the Mad Men area, during the Mad Men era, the old fashioned was basically famous for business elites. Sadly, during the 80s and 70s, during the 70s and 80s, a popular fruit cocktail by David LeGroff overtook the popularity in the old fashioned and it died down. Slice the orange pill, get the juices or aromatic in there, right there, and top up. Not just with a slice of orange, but also. A garnish of cherry. Oh yeah. Garnish the cherry. I give you the cherry bourbon old fashioned.
have it, folks. I give you the cheery bourbon old fashioned. Coming up next, aromatic bourbon old fashioned. Starting off, grab your mixing glass, get one scoop of ice, grab one scoop of ice, two ounces of your 80 proof bourbon. The difference between a classic old fashioned and a aromatic old fashioned is you got double the bitters. You got two dashes of aromatic bitters, like on culture, and you got two dashes of Pechard's automatic bitters. So, two of each. Two dashes of Pechard's, Pechard's bitters and two dashes of aromatic bitters, lag and culture. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Two ounces of bourbon, half ounce of simple syrup, and two dashes of culture bitters, and Pechard's bitters. Pechard's bitters. Grab your spoon. Your bar spoon, of course. Bottom, not top. Put it at the very bottom, underneath the ice, and stir for 15 to 30 seconds. Stirring for 15 to 30 seconds. During the 20th century, the old fashioned got popular again by finding out that During the 20th century, the Old Fashioned got popular again and was renamed the Old Fashioned from Whiskey Cocktail. Now it's enjoyed all around the world and made by bartenders all around the world doing different variations of their own Old Fashioned. Grab your rocks glass. Grab your ice cube, rocks glass, hawthorn strainer from your mixing glass. You can always build it in the glass if you don't have a mixing glass, no worries. Pour into the glass. Look at that color. That's so good. And then grab your orange again with your orange peel. Be careful when cutting so you don't cut yourself. Grab from the middle, make sure it's a deep enough cut to get a good pill. Like before, around the rim so the orange zest gets around it with aromatic. Do a squeeze on top and then put it on the sea and put it on the side next to the ice cube to hold. I give you the aromatic bourbon old fashion. There you have it guys, I give you the aromatic old fashioned. Coming up next, vanilla bourbon old fashioned. Grab your mixing glass from the freezer, put one scoop of ice in there, one scoop of ice. The difference between a classic old fashioned and a vanilla bourbon old fashioned is you substitute the simple syrup for or vanilla syrup and the bitters will be orange bitters so two ounces of your 80 proof bourbon two ounces of 80 proof bourbon 
That looks so good. Half an ounce of vanilla syrup. Half an ounce of vanilla syrup. And for the bitters, I use Orange Bitters by Fee Brothers. It's a good brand. If you like, look in the link below. Three to three or four dashes. Grab your bar spoon, of course. Grab your bar spoon, stir on the bottom, not the top. Put underneath the glass, ice, and stir for 15 to 30 seconds in Mississippi. Look at that color, guys. Traditionally, I'm kind of glad that a lot of people are not doing it the old way with sugar cubes, muddling it, and putting water in it to stir it to turn into simple syrup. Some people like it as a good luxury and everything, but the problem is a lot of people and bartenders that uh, make it, a lot of customers don't like the sugar content in it because it's basically a powder. It's not diluted all the way and it's not turned into a syrup. So what I like doing is skipping that step and doing simple syrup since it's already made. One to one. One cup of water, one cup of sugar. Look at that. Grab your rocks glass from the freezer. And grab the ice cube. Grab your ice cube. And hot thorn strainer. Put over, mix the glass. And pull right in. Look at this, guys. And for garnish, orange peel and vanilla bean. Like I showed you before, thicken that piece for a peel. Pull gently, not to cut yourself. Boom. around the rim and squeeze to get a little bit of orange zest into there and tuck underneath ice. Grab your mint. Ooh, smells so good. Grab a vanilla bean. Stir underneath. Put underneath the ice. Very nice. Ooh, that smells so good, guys. Vanilla bean. Lay some underneath. Orange peel. Lift up. I give you the vanilla bourbon old fashioned. Quite a delicious drink, the vanilla bourbon old fashioned. Coming up next, the ginger bourbon old fashioned. Grab your mixing glass from the freezer and put one scoop of ice. One scoop of ice in your mixing glass. Grab your 80 proof bourbon. Grab your 80 proof bourbon. Two ounces of 80 proof bourbon. Ooh, smells so good. <laughs> proof bourbon and the difference between the classic old-fashioned 
and a ginger old fashioned is you're replacing the simple syrup with ginger syrup. Half an ounce of ginger syrup. Half an ounce of ginger syrup. And two dashes of aromatic bitters. Two dashes or three. Like I told you guys, bottom, not top. Get underneath the ice in your mixing glass and stir for 15 to 30 seconds. Voila. <laughs> Grab you guys from the freezer. Glass from the freezer. Put your ice cube inside. Grab your hot orange strainer. And pour it right in. Look at that, guys. Grab your orange. Grab your orange peel. Get your orange peel in. Like I told you guys. Middle. Good deep in. Away from your fingers. Oh, bye bye. So around the glass, do a twist, so the citrus goes in there, put it between the glass, and voila, I give you the ginger old fashioned. I give you classic bourbon old-fashioned cocktails with variations. Maybe next time we can make Father's Day cocktails. Mm. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for you to be notified for more videos I make. And don't forget to hit the like button so the YouTube knows that you like it and it'll send it to other people. Anyways, mahalo and have a good day. The future is bright and... is bread and I think you get to wait till next time. Mahalo.